Welcome to Oz Nomad Destinations. Follow us as we caravan our way around Australia. This is Ed and I'm Beck, and we're finding you the best free and budget camp spots Oz has to offer. Fishing, crabbing and hiking our way through this awesome country. For notifications, click subscribe and hit the bell and that will keep you up to date. We are six kilometres north from Broomheads and 38 kilometres south of Yamba. So we have just arrived at Ugaira National Park. We are staying at Red Cliffs at Site 56. And old mate here has just pulled up to get some water, thanks to national parks. But yes, so we are staying at Site 56 at Red Cliffs. Actually, it says Grey Cliffs, but when you book it online, it said Red Cliffs. The road in was great. At the information board, there's a water tap for you to fill your tanks. It's a large campground and it spreads itself along the edges of the cliff and the ocean and wraps around the lake. And it holds a lot of people. So that's the beach entrance just there. And we are parked here. There were bins on site at most of the camping sections and drop toilets with running water in the hand basins. And they were really clean. Most of the waterfront or cliff tops were tent sites only. Some were walk-in and some had the most awesome views over the ocean. There was great internet and phone service. Some of the sites were small and tight to get your van into. We googled Earth the site we chose and it was a great choice. There were little pockets of campsites all along the ocean and cliff tops. So it's not just one huge, large, big campground, which I thought was great. Like there was only eight camps in our section and the cost was $24 a night and your car entry, which we'd bought a year pass. National Parks gave me permission to fly my drone in this park. We made sure we didn't mess with people's experience in the park, so there's no real drone shots over the camps, but you can see them in the distance. Red Cliff is a stunning campgrounds with these amazing cliffs and beautiful green blue ocean.
There was also steps leading down to the beach, which was a relief after the Black Rock campgrounds with its steep sand dunes and steep beach entries. The ocean was crystal clear and made for a great swimming spot. There was an amazing number of kangaroos in this park and they were pretty quiet and great lawn mowers. The next day we went for a drive into Broomheads. There's not much in the way of shops in Broomheads, so make sure you bring what you need with you. There is a small general store and a cafe attached to the caravan park. There's also a great lookout over the bay just above the caravan park. The next day we set off to spend a day in Yamba. We found the lighthouse on the hill that overlooked the river and the beach. We bought a picnic lunch and had it down at the beach under a hut. Then we headed out to Angari Pools. I was really hoping I was going to be the only one there. Nope, there was hundreds. I was just dreaming. Then we headed out to the surf beach reserve to watch the locals surfing. What a beautiful spot that was. We loaded up with groceries and headed home. The next day the weather had turned to rubbish. Windy and rain and it kept us awake all night with 30 to 40 knot winds rocking the van. The next day was moving day, though we were happy to move. We love Red Cliffs, it was a beautiful location. The cliffs are just awesome and beautiful and the park manager was a lovely guy and most helpful. So that's us till next week. Keep in contact, stay happy and we'll see you Sunday at 6am.